Hello everyone, this is Jesse Watkins of Soul Hacker and I'm just going to do a simple example today of how to create and edit a logo within GIMP. So the first thing I'm going to do is just go to File, uh, New, I'm going to create a new image and uh, we're just going to go with the standard settings. We can edit our color later. So uh, I like working with a black background so we'll just go Bucket Fill, Black and we're going to insert our text. So we're going to come here to the text layer, double click that, come here, and I'm just going to edit, for example, a Soul Hacker logo. Now you'll notice right here we can see our text, but we can't right here. So we're going to go to the Settings tab. We're going to change our color just to make it easily visible to white and there's our text so now from within here also we can uh, resize that to whatever we want and from here you can also change your font type let's try this one that looks interesting let's see if this works for our purposes so we've got our text layer and there it is it created a new layer for us a lot of times what I like doing is right clicking and I'll go layer to image size just to move the uh, selection to the edges of the image and uh, now I'm going to right click on alpha to selection and it's going to select everything within this window here so one thing I like to do is sometimes adding uh, different ranges of colors like in order to do a glow let's just place with some different effects we're going to go with our blend tool and uh, this is going to be our blend setting We've got our gradient. Let's try, uh, we're going to go foreground to background. We'll be fine. I'll switch these. And we want radial. I'm going to try that. And then we select our color, which appears in a, I've got an external monitor, so I'll pull that over here. And what I'm going to try first is, uh, let's go with a yellow, somewhere right here. And I'll do like this that color right there I move it over into my tab and then I'll bring it down to maybe uh, right here so you see I've got these two different colors now and I wanted a little darker on that one let's go about right there so first I'm gonna select this one then I'm gonna switch those select that one I've got both of them that's what I didn't do, I didn't click OK. Now we know. So now we'll go from here out. Bam. And you can make it a little more vibrant or you can just play with that. That's pretty neat right there. So now we've got a pretty cool color and what I always like to do is uh, grow this. So I'm going to select grow and let's do three pixels. OK and then we will go to layers create new layer okay and we'll actually bump that down one we'll go to our bucket fill and you can choose whatever color you want to right here uh, just to go with something a little crazy let's try green okay and bam now that's a little hard to see. We could have done something like white. Let's try another color. And the reason it's doing that is, oh, it's because we've got two selections over here. Okay, so now we've got all white. And then what you can do to see how it works is you go select none. That's a pretty cool effect right there. And then of course you have uh, all your different filters that you could use. So let's see what those look like. What we can do is we can come here, we can go uh, merge down, and then we can go alpha to selection. And someone's trying to Facebook chat me right now, so that's the little noise popping up. So we got alpha to selection, filters, alpha to logo, and I like this one right here. Um, frosty that is amazing so let's do our effect size 
23 pixels. Okay. And we'll let that build. Bam. And now what you can do is over here on the left, you can see this layer right here we really don't need, so we can delete. Um, and you can choose and select whichever ones you want. See those two you can't even see because of the sparkle effect. I bet if our background was white, it would make it tell a difference. That's probably why. So I'm going to edit and do item visibility until I get my uh, layer back. Okay, so let's try this and then that one. Now that's a big difference right there. And then what you could do is you could have created a, a separate layer and kept your current um, soul hacker or whatever your logo was within there. So that's just an example. So we go to filters. Uh, we'll go to let's see control Z. I have to be off that screen. Control Z. There we are. Back to our initial. So let's try another one. Let's go filters. Oh, I'm sorry. We need to alpha the logo. Alpha to selection. Alpha to logo and uh, let's try alien glow. Glow size. Let's do about 67. Huh. That's pretty neat right there. Gives a really cool effect. And you can delete one of these uh, backgrounds if you want. Or you can go with a transparent background and use whatever background uh, is on your web page or whatever you're working with. So what we can do now is just go back alpha to logo let's try glossy I'm not sure how this is going to work That's not too bad. And we can do undo. You can just try these and you can sit here for hours. Now, something I really like doing with a logo is let's go here, create a new background. Uh, we'll just go, it doesn't really matter what color. And uh, we want to create a background color that offsets our logo. So we could even go with black. What you can do right here is click that uh, those two squares and it'll go back to your original colors. And maybe we want to go, um, a lot of times what I do is I'll go to the color wheel. And if my colors like orange and yellow are on this side, I'll take something from the opposite. So like a blue maybe. And I'll go a really dark blue somewhere in here. So I'll select a color like that. And then a little bit of lighter color. Out like that so I'll go BAM switch and a little darker one then OK and now what I'll do is I'll keep my radial gradient and because I'm on this bottom layer nothing will happen to the, the soul hacker and I'll just go somewhere in the middle just pull it out a little bit it gives a little circle like that that's pretty hot right there and then I'm just gonna go ahead and delete this background now on this one I want to alpha to selection so select that whole layer I'm gonna do filters that seem like a oh, clothify and watch what this does that is hot so that's a professional looking logo right there and you're done any questions, just submit those on the comment form below. Thank you very much.